How's it going guys? Bluebird Gamer here. This is archived stream footage. If you want to see me live, go to twitch.tv forward slash Bluebird Gamer. No more underscore. We're moving up in the world, ladies and gentlemen. Highlights are out there. My schedule is out there. Most of my archived stuff, if not all of it, goes on my YouTube channel. So even if you can't show up live, you can still see it there. But I'd love to see you guys there live because then you can, you can interact with me in the chat and we can just have some fun. Until then, on with the show. Hey guys, so I am back already. So yeah, pe people on Twitter are going to be so confused why I have multiple Twitter notifications saying, Hey, come watch Crusader Kings 3. People are going to be so confused about that. Uh, but yeah, what happened was, and yeah, I, it's looking like my webcam is not going to be doing... Okay, there we go. Now it's fixed. I'm loading up Crusader Kings 3. That's why there was a temporary pause there, or at least it looked that way on my screen. This is gonna be, this is really silly. Uh, the reason I couldn't lo modify it is because I had locked it in the actual streaming software. So I totally could have while I was streaming live, but I forgot to actually unlock the darn thing. <laughs> that, that, that is one of the most me things I think I have done re in, in recent times. Oh my goodness. Yeah, now we get to sit here and we get to observe these beautiful, this beautiful artwork that they've made for us. But yeah, let's do a quick recap while we're waiting, because we may as well take advantage of the time for our stream. The last time where we left off, we had pulled off that amazing scheme with Bertle to just jack up my prestige as quickly as I can to get to Exalted Among Men so that I could declare- so I could invade the Kingdom of Mercia in its entirety. And by doing that, that allowed me, if it will- what in the world's going on with the camera? That allowed me, if we zoom over here, to officially create the Kingdom of England. Now, this is everything that's de jure part of the Kingdom of England. This is the stuff I own. So, all in all, we're still much smaller than we could be. But at the very least, we have formed our kingdom, so secession laws will not be as messy with duchies flying off everywhere. Duchies are still probably duchies are still going to get formed, but. They're not- they're still gonna be part of our kingdom, technically. So, we're in a pretty good spot, honestly. I'm gonna jack this up to 5 speed. All we really have going on right now is we are involved in some war. I don't really remember- this is my daughter? Where are you? You're- you're down here. Uh, sure, I'll form an alliance with my daughter. Why not? Yeah, our- our king is very old. I'm surprised he pulled that off. He looks like a- He's, he's practically a skeleton already. That that quite surprised me. Is there anyone we can appoint to a good position? Let's see. Oh my gosh, our champion has 26 learning. I mean, yeah, why have we not done that? That's incredibly good. Boop. 26! Yes sir, Bob, ladies and gentlemen. That's pretty good for piety as well. But I wanted to see if there were any positions that my powerful vassals could fulfill. And it's not looking like they're talented enough to really do well at anything compared to what we already have. So, we're going to leave it be. Mercenary contract expiring, that's fine. Search for physician, why not? And a ruler won a war. Whoa, look at this. Hang on a second, go away. Look at these people. For, for goodness sakes, I need to click on the right thing. Look at these people. Oh my goodness. They are... Well, actually, they're still not that big, but... Actually, oh, we know. They have stuff all the way over here. Okay, I need to get through this notification here so that I can actually see the map. My vassals already created a cadet branch. That was really quick. Oh my gosh, but look at this. They're all over the place. They're up here. They had, I think, I think this is probably their original territory. Yeah, there's, I think that's their capital up there. But look at all this stuff. They're all over the place. My goodness. Okay. There we go. And we have a new Rick Scully who obviously endorses me. He's quite a fan of me. Ah, oh, my spouse died. Okay, so here's what I want to do. I want to see if I can marry someone who's Catholic real quick. Uh, let's, let's just do this. And then we'll say, where is it? Religion, not Osteru. If we could find a Catholic person, we could potentially just convert to Catholicism now. 
Because I've realized that my air is no longer Draeger. Because I obviously I, I, ban I, I banished and disinherited him, so he's not going to be. Ah! Aha! Uh -huh. This is exactly what we're looking for. So she is Catholic. And what this will mean. Yeah, obviously, we're too old for kids, so it's perfectly fine with me. We're gonna lose a little bit. Of, we're gonna lose a little bit of prestige, but we're only going down to forty-four hundred, so not that bad. Not that big of a deal. What this is gonna mean is we now should have the option to adopt Catholicism, and we have to see if our player error will also do that. Let's see. My close family will convert, so it looks like my children will, and that's what we wanted to do. And people are... Pretty much everyone is converting, actually. It's because my... Oh, it's because my learning skill is so high that... Oh, and this this guy still will, actually. Yeah, absolutely. We are Catholic. Oh, my goodness. This is quite now... <laughs> Who is this? This is some wandering guy. Why? Why is he shown here? Uh, why would I, why would I want this guy in my realm? He doesn't do actually anything good. Okay, hang on a second. We have a, we have an archbishop now, so that guy we just appointed doesn't matter. Let's see. I have a friend. My grandson is my friend. That's good to know. <laughs> All right, let's see here. Oh, this is our grandson we were literally just looking at. I was watching Gamal play with other children when Idmund tried to push him over. Gamal took it all in stride and sat down to talk to Idmund instead. Forgiving. He is still Osteru, actually, which is interesting. So is it so my my son and a player did convert to Catholicism, but his children have not. Interesting. We don't want Wrathful or Fickle. We're going to keep forgiving on him. Let me see. Greetings, Father. Your son, Aenbert, has taken great interest in my work as your marshal as of late. If you were to graciously allow me to spend some time with the young man, he is sure to learn quite a few things about drilling troops, planning sieges, and other such matters of war. Aenbert? Ah! Oh, okay, cool. Let's see. I'll try to improve his diplomacy. What are his stats like? His stats are kind of just all around. What's his education in? It's okay. Hmm. Let's see. Yeah, we will. We will do that. Let's up. Let's teach him about some martial stuff because his martial is pretty low. My cousin was killed in a siege. Oh no. <laughs> Marshal Draeger's tutelage of my son is already bearing fruit. Anbert has taken a lot more than I dared to hope, or has learned a lot more than I dared to hope, and he is taking some of his future responsibilities much more seriously than before. Marshal increased by two. Oh, yeah. Pretty solid stuff. Now he's a Marshal of nine, which is still not great, but it's at least closer to passable. And this is why I wanted to convert to Catholicism. I have so much piety... I'm a paragon of virtue. I can just start asking the Pope for gold. He's gonna give me 242 gold, just like that. Yeah! Money! <coughs> oh, excuse me. Irritated my throat, I guess. Good grief. Alright. I'm trying to think of what, what are we actually gonna keep? So we Because we have a decent bit of money now. Let's look into what we could upgrade. We are going to keep really just the North Riding somehow. Everything else is getting is, is being taken from me. All these different earldoms. My second son. Oh my gosh, he's the one getting the rest of this stuff. Gee Willikers. And then they're each getting an earldom themselves. We're only keeping this one place, which is kind of a shame. I, I cannot upgrade it anymore. So we kind of just have to sit here. We can't upgrade any of this because we don't have the innovation for it. City planning? I am the culture head now. Why are we not going for city planning? I chose plenary assemblies. 
For, oh yeah, for limited crown authority. That yeah, that is genuinely a, that, that's a good one. We should do that. Cause what that will do. Let me see. T I can revoke titles potentially, which will mean that if people rebel against me or if they're a criminal, I can take their land. And they provide le at least five percent levies and two percent of income. So overall, good for us. I guess we'll just hold on to the money because we can't we can't really spend it on the North Riding. So I want to save it for my heir, so that he could have mercenary money in case he needs it. Who are we swaying right now? We are swaying. Why are we swaying our son? Oh, he's our marshal. Is there anyone else that's worth swaying more? No, I think we'll leave it as it is. This is my grandson. He can marry. Oh, so, oh this is Drager's boy. Okay. Let's go for... What, what am I current... We want... Fertile. We don't want infertile for this guy. We want actually he want we want him to actually be able to have kids. That'd be pretty rough. Let's do okay. So now if we search by fertility, that's cool. Uh how about alliance power? That's my granddaughter, so no thanks. Let's see. Alliance power. No actual alliance from that. I'm just trying to see if there is a good alliance we can actually get out of this. There's her. We would get a thousand troops. Sure. Yeah, we'll do that. Let's, let's get a thousand troops out of the deal. Here's my question. These titles are going to get formed automatically. Is it even worth me forming them myself? It gives me it gives me prestige, but it costs me gold. They're going to get formed anyway. So why why should I even bother doing it? I don't need the prestige as this king. I am extremely prestigious and I'm going to die soon anyway. So, I don't think it's a huge deal. Plus I I don't think that would allow me to keep them either. Cuz that's Lancaster. Oh, maybe it would. Except I don't think I have claim to them anyway. Right? I don't think I do. Maybe, maybe if I form them, I will. Let's, this, is actually, this will actually be a fun experiment. Let's test this. I can usurp this. She is fighting a war, apparently. Where is she? Oh, she's still here! I didn't know she was still around. She really doesn't like me. I can't imagine why. <laughs> I can't imagine why. I mean, we did kill her husband and all, but I'm sure that wasn't a problem. Well, let, let's experiment with this. Let's create the Duchy of Northumbria. Does that impact... Yeah, because I now have too many held duchies. If we look at our succession here... Yeah, now he gets the Petty Kingdom of Northumbria. Oh, but what that's allowed us to do is that apparently allows us to keep this, but we have to give away the duchies, so... I don't think that actually does anything for us. It's a good idea. Who seems like a loyal chap? Let's see. Where is this? Northumbria is there. How about... You are deceitful. You're a brave, humble, albeit lazy man. How about we give you the, the entire petty kingdom of Northumbria? There we go. And uh, we just lost the position. I don't know. I don't, I don't know why, but we did. Let's do. This guy's a powerful vassal, so we could put him on our court, and he's not the best at his job, but at the very least, it'll help keep him happy. And out of curiosity, did that change anything about our secession laws? Yeah, so all that did was we spent the gold. That's really all that did. 
We should just have not done it. Because now we have less money. My goodness, you're having tons of kids. Leofrin, good to meet you. Are being raided? Where? Oh, 5,000. I can't beat that. Are you kidding me? I have 3,800 troops. You expect me to beat that? I could found a university. <laughs> what would that do? I would gain the nickname The Scholar. All county capitals without a university gain a special building slot for university. No idea. How's it going, Cleo? Hope you're doing all right here. How how has your day been? I hope it has been well. Or I hope your day has gone well, let me say. Let me put the... Uh, I'm trying to see. We could write our thoughts down. Do we want to write our thoughts down? Let's write our thoughts down. That will help us relieve stress. Oh, hello, Draeger. So, I don't think you were here last time to see this, but unfortunately, you were, you murdered my wife. So, I actually had to... I actually disinherited you. Oh, Cleo's with you. Hello to both of you. Hi. So, yeah. Uh, Draeger, you are no longer my heir. I'm sorry. <laughs> I mean, I had, like I said, I, I had good reason. You murdered my wife. You you murdered your own mother. So I I, I felt like that was reason enough to disinherit you. <laughs> I mean, c c can you blame me, really? I'm I, I'm I'm sorry. At the very, we, we got your son a good marriage, though. It looks like so. There you go. At least I was able to do something for you. But there's there's only so much I there's only so much I can do for the a, a kin slayer. We, I'm sorry, man. I just, I just felt like I needed to let you know. Let's see. Neither of you are... That's a good reason. <laughs> yeah, you you were a pretty decent heir in terms of stats-wise, so I didn't want to do it unless I actually had a good reason, and you, you your character gave me a reason. So, wait, whoa, 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 who's this? Oh, are you kidding me? How, why does she have a hook on me? Well, she... She just used a hook on me, so she is now our spy master, and she is absolutely awful. So we're stuck with her for what? I think it was five years or something. Bummer. All right, let's see. How you doing, man? It's been a long since I last saw you. I am doing very well, thank you. Uh, admittedly, school is still school is still tiring at, with the amount of work I have to put into it, but. Feels like it's feels like it's going better than it was earlier in this semester at the very least. I don't know. Um, yeah, I'm kind of just kind of just cruising right now. Nothing, nothing much, admittedly. I mean, see, look, even even this powerful vassal that we had, he's way better than her. But we can't we can't do it because she's she won't let us fire her. Ugh. That's really annoying. Now we're stuck like this. Is there anything more our people... No, our people are already doing pretty good stuff. We are continually still getting perks like this, which is crazy. I'm almost to August. How am I... How, how is my guy still alive? He's 70. He's 70! This Birdle man is insane. It's been raining and thundering here, and the electricity's been going out so often, I couldn't access the internet. Ah! I think I actually remember you met- is, is, does that mean that it's starting to be monsoon season for you? I remember you mentioning that. I just don't know if that's this time of year for you. But yeah, I'm sorry to hear about all that crazy weather stuff. Let me see. Yeah, I, I, I would say it's been crazy around here, but it really hasn't. It would just be me- it would just be me yapping about stuff, so... I'm sorry to hear that, man. <laughs> Wait, what is- Oh, look! Draeger, you have another son! There you go. Aethelwald Dragerson. That's actually a really cool name. That 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 doesn't even sound like it was Yeah, that yeah, that sounds really cool. <laughs> oh my gosh, I like that name so much. Monsoon, okay. Oh, we're getting called into a war. Pretty pretty balanced war this looks like. I don't want to turn it down. Uh, should we actually help in one of these wars? I feel like our king's gonna die soon anyway. Let's see, this is the war we just got called into. Where's the enemy? I'm looking for some bit of red. 
Is this them? This is them. This this is it. Oh, who's this? Heresy, Cathars and Homs. Oh no, Cathars or Cathars. Duke Domnall of Homs has announced to the world that he and his vassals have converted to Catharism. How dare you? Where is this? Oh, it's Syria. Why do we care? Having some disillusion, having been, having, I can't speak. Having become disillusioned with the teachings of the Catholic priests, the nobles of Homs no longer consider the clergy to be righteous and true. As Cathars, they believe their new faith properly aligns with the will of God, and they are distancing themselves from their former religious institutions. I'm not converting, because it took me so long to even be Catholic in the first place. Oh my gosh, there's people all over the place converting to Catharism. How dare they? Oh my gosh, a crusade. I would love to fight in the crusade. That'd be so fun. Let's see. A, pa a papal envoy has reached my court, bringing news from the Vatican. Pope Sylvester issued a call to arms to all righteous Christian rulers. As a Catholic king, I'm expected to prepare my men in support of this most holy cause. Sponsored by the Universal Church itself. Excuse me. To all those who will take the fight against the vile infidels desecrating the holy grounds of Jerusalem, the Holy See promises full the Holy See promises full absolution from all sins and a guaranteed place in heaven. My warriors will be ready to fight. Absolutely, I'd love to participate in this. I don't think there's been a crusade this game session yet. Something funny actually that happened. This is something I was playing on my own session at one on my own game at one point. I was playing as the Kingdom of Brittany down here, and my uh, a couple of my relatives were trying to basically they were trying to coup me. They were trying to establish themselves on the throne instead, and they were gathering support for essentially a civil war. But I ended up fighting in the Crusade, and they happened to be commanders of my army. So when my army got completely annihilated, as in not a single troop survived. Which means that they died, and, and they were no longer able to overthrow me, which was which I thought was hilarious. That that actually worked. Alright. Hmm. Who do we want to put on the throne of Jerusalem should we win this? Let's, how about our daughter? Yeah, ab absolutely. So she's our beneficiary now. So as far as um, as far as I'm aware for that working, if we have if we have the most contribution in this war, then we can put her on the throne of Jerusalem essentially. Which right now I don't think the kingdom of Jerusalem exists. Yeah, it doesn't. But it could. It launches in 12 months. Drager, you are working on increasing control in the in, in Warwickshire, which is where? Where's Warwickshire? Down here. What's the control like in it? It's 28. Ooh. I, I would prefer you to be organizing the levies, but I can see why you're doing that instead. Um, yeah, we're kind of limited on our options here, admittedly. You know, the control will go up on its own. Perhaps I do put the effort into raising our levies up. It was going up by 108 before. It's going up by 120 a month now. So that will that will give us a f that'll get us a few more that'll get us a few more soldiers to fight the holy war. There's a lot of people converting to Catharism. Oh yeah. I remember last stream, this random woman was trying to put moves on me, so I just said... So I, I, I didn't dismiss her, I just allowed her to, because I thought it was funny. And it's actually developing. <laughs> Look at this. I can scarce remember what my love, what my life was like before God... 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 Gifu, Gifer, oh my gosh. God... Gifu declared her love for me. I am flattered, but also overwhelmed by her attentions. I find myself longing for some peace and quiet. Yet I cannot help but worry. Would I be throwing away my only prospect of true love? This cannot be right, can it? I mean, we're already married, so... No. Ends today. I just turned her down! Hardcore. 
Warwickshire? That's... That's... I'm trying to raise control there in the first place. Why... Why is it saying I have low control there now? You butt. My brother died. I didn't know I had a brother somehow. All of my brothers are dead. Okay, well, there we go. It happens, man. Dangerous faction. Who? Who is this? Oh, it's peasant rabble. Oh, I don't care. I, I will put down the peasants should they revolt against me. Because they're equally revolting themselves. <laughs> Alright, neither of them are physician. Not even going to bother. How long till this holy war? Six months? Oh, I'm looking forward to this. This will be fun. I don't even know if we actually have a decent commander, but I'd love to give it a shot. What's going on up here, by the way? Oh, there's a civil... There's kind of a, a mini little civil war going on up here, apparently, in Northumbria. Who would have thought? Ah, I think my chancellor just died. Bummer. Um... Do you have any powerful vassals who would be good at this? Not really. Let's take a look at my powerful vassals, though. I have three now, apparently, that want positions. We have three, ten, and nine. You are all pretty bad at that. What about you? You have six. I can't really swap you in there, can I? You're, you're actually really bad. That's, that is your second worst stat. I, can I not fire you yet? Gosh darn it, man. Now, I think I would prefer someone who's actually talented for the position over one of my... Realm will lose land when vassals die. Why? Your vassal holds titles that will be inherited by rulers who are not your vassals. Well, what happened here? I'm so confused. Why is... Wh wh why is this happening? Okay, so the instant they marry and start having kids, that problem will be fixed. That really surprises me, though. Oh my gosh, this is a lot of... This is a lot of stuff on this list to read. Uh, let's see. I could create these. I'm not going to, though, because they'll form on their own anyway. Oh, uh, yeah, just... That was weird. All right. Anyway, let's let's ignore that, and let's prepare for the crusade. I'm very excited for this. The look at the amount of soldiers in this fight. It's crazy. Trappings of majesty. I stand above my subjects as a sovereign ruler, unequaled in the realm. Dressing the part with resplendent garments and jewelry would would serve as a subtle reminder to everyone that I am in charge. Would it give me more prestige? Yeah, you give me extra diplomacy and prestige. I don't really need that at the moment. My king is prepped. My king is going to be on death's door soon, I'm pretty sure. He's 71 and he's still fine. How is this happening? How is this happening? Let's see. Traditional. Eh, I'll try for the diplomacy experience. Hey, I got it. I actually got it. Wasn't expecting to... Now, granted, it was in my favor to get it, but I didn't entirely expect it, so there we go. Alright. So, Draeger, Cleo, since you two are here, I do want to ask you, what has been your favorite thing about your day? I, I keep meaning to do it, and I and I keep forgetting. What is your, what is your favorite thing, been about your day? Was it talking to someone? Was it eating food? As, as usual for me, since it's the morning, it's this, because this is all I've done. Besides eating breakfast, and I really just ate breakfast so that out of energy for this, that's about it. <laughs> Alright. Crusade for the Kingdom of Jerusalem! Rise, my armies! This is me. I could lead this I could lead this fight if I wanted to. If I die fighting in the Crusades, that'd be pretty awesome. Alright, here's my noble army of 4,000 men. Gee willikers, dude, this is strong. Uh... Yeah, let, let's go land in Rome, and then from there we can set sail for this area. Who's this? This is Gamal, my grandson. 
Oh my gosh! He's a talented chap! Look at this! Aggressive attacker, brilliant strategist. Good on you. Now, we should marry you to someone. Uh, let's see. No, that wouldn't work. Let's do alliance power. Ah, she is scaly. No, thank you. Let's see. Who, who... This is... This would be our player heir eventually, actually. Let's see. These are, oh, wait a second. I can do this. And that'll actually fix my... Uh, fix my potential losing land problem. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's do that. That... That person... That the girl I just married him to is... The one who, where, where is the land for that? Here. She's the one that would be, the the land would be inherited by some people over in Parsberg and Bavaria for some reason. So, by doing that, I should be able to fix the problem. There we go. And that, yeah, that should have fixed that problem. Or it, it technically hasn't yet. But it, it will soon. It will soon. Who's, who's actually in this war? There's really not much friendly land to land in here, is there? We'll have to see where the Pope goes. Because he has, he has a good 6,000 troops himself, so... He'll probably clear... He'll, he may clear a landing, a landing platform almost for me to go to. Man, this army is expensive. Oh, it's because I'm sailing, that's why. It's extremely expensive to do that. An acquaintance was taken prisoner, that's fine. Oh, that's a bad time for a peasant rabble, isn't it? Okay, hang on, we gotta turn around and go put that down. We cannot allow this to stand. Where are the actual peasants who are revolting? Uh... I mean, they're all revolting, but... <laughs> These ones. They must die. It is no secret that my acquaintance Sinswith is carrying a child conceived through a sinful union. She's not a married woman, after all. However, who fathered a child has been a mystery until now. This Earl is the one responsible. Oh, it's a good thing I didn't give you control of Northumbria, you sinful dude. How dare you? Alright. More, more low control, just everywhere. Don't you just love it? Um, who is this? This is my granddaughter. Oh, Drager, this is your, this is your daughter. Okay, hang on a second. I, I'm, hang on a, uh, hang on a sec. Okay, there we go. Um, who do we want you to marry? Let's just go rank. Actually, hang on. Matrilineal. Let's see what we can do with matrilineal. Hmm. He is a lisper. Alright, we will do this. Club-footed, unfortunately, but we'll deal with that when the time comes. Alright, let's go put down some peasants, boys. Huzzah! Let's see. We're waiting for our boat disembarkment penalty to go away. My spies have informed me about a hunter causing a ruckus at the local tavern. The man has been spending large amounts of gold and bragging loudly about the great deal he struck with a fancy lady in pearls and silk. Apparently he drew a map of the local plains for an, an unknown noblewoman. The spies think the lady must be scheming against me or one of my subjects. Oh yeah. 
Scheme resistance up. I'll do that. Yeah, just put them down. We'll absolutely annihilate them. Peasant rabble immediately ended. I killed every single... <laughs> I killed every single one of those dirty peasants. <laughs> oh my goodness, dude. Alright. Hmm. Let's, let's put you back to getting county control, because that's really bad. It's really bad right now. Okay. And now, you gentlemen. The Pope has landed. We will go land there. Why are you all fighting up there? Why do we not fight down here? Let's take a look at the current scale of the war. We do outnumber them quite heavily. But because they... We did lose a battle, apparently. So we are... Whoa, who's this chap? Oh, I'm clicking on the wrong thing. I thought, why is this guy applying to be one of my physicians? <laughs> he seems like he's a little more qualified than that. Oh my gosh, there's a lot of troops in these fights. Look, look at this. Ah! We just gained some fascination that I wasn't even going for. Let's take a look. Uh, this... Oh, it's because I got plenary assemblies. Let's see. I want city planning. There's a lot of things that allows me to do. But also... What what what, what did I just fit? I literally just looked at what I just finished, and I don't remember what it was. That's embarrassing. I keep clicking on the wrong thing. I just did... Plenary assemblies! Oh, yes! Yes, yes, yes! This allows me to go up to limited crown authority. Bam! Huzzah! Extra, extra gold potential, extra levy potential. It's pretty solid stuff. Hey, Mr. Pope, give me some money. I want to help you guys, but my troops are taking so long to get here. <laughs> yes, we gained August. Huzzah. Two diplomacy, one marshal, and one more prestige a month. I mean, we're 72, so that's not going to... We're not going to get those pe those buffs for long, but we have those buffs. Where are my men? Where are my soldiers? I have no clue where they are. Ah, here they are. Hello. Oh my gosh, it's gonna take him five months to get there? Gee willikers, dude. By then, the crusade will practically be over at the rate we're going, although we are winning now. We have one of the larger troop amounts for this war, so... Surely we should be able to contribute something once we, you know, once we get there and all. If I could siege that out, that'd give me some insane war score. Alright, I've gotten an idea in my attempts to align Draeger to my interests. With the, right with the right arguments, I may be able to convince him that I'm acting not merely in my own interest, but the interest of the Lord himself. 95% chance, absolutely. Okay, and Draeger has been swayed as much as he possibly can. He absolutely loves us. Let's take a look at our vassals and see who does not like us very much. We only have one vassal who's not that big of a fan of us. So we're going to start swaying him. Because we don't want him skimming taxes on us. We want all the money we can get. Oh, who's this chap? With my mind set on a relaxing evening, I'm heading for my son Thiersil's chambers when, with some spiced wines and a deck of cards. Without knocking, I push his door open. Thiersil is, sitting, is seated by his desk, writing furiously. As I clear my throat, he jumps out of his skin. He quickly stuffs a roll of parchment into his pocket and turns towards me with an with an uneasy look upon his face. I mean, this guy likes me quite a bit. Uh, 90% on the Intrigue Challenge. Oh my gosh, I sedated the guy! That's, ah! <laughs> As I rub through his things, Thirstiedle's... Thirstiedle sleeps like a babe. The, sed the sedative I put in his spiced wine sure did the trick. Within minutes, I have found the piece of parchment he hid from me. It's a list of foods and drinks and many familiar names, including that of my favorite tr troubadour. 
It seems like Thirstito is planning to surprise me with a feast held in my honor. <laughs> I like I like that little prompt that gives me. I'll act like I have no idea when he reveals the surprise. <laughs> oh, what is this? For me, you couldn't possibly have. <laughs> and here it is. A, mischie a mischievous smile is playing on Thirstitil's lips. I know I have acted strangely as of late, and for that I apologize, but I had good reason. Thirstitil gestures, gestures for me to follow, and leads me to the Great Hall. When he pushes the door open, someone starts playing a jolly tune. Oh my! The decorations, the smell, and everyone is here. It's a feast in your honor. Let me get you a cup of wine. Well, thank you. I appreciate the feast, but I am in the middle of the Mediterranean Sea right now. So, I don't know if I'm going to be there to appreciate the feast. I guess you can just... I don't know. Who is this chap? Oh, this is the daughter I'm wanting to put on the throne. Let me see. There we go. Awesome sauce. Well, there we go. Yeah, we have to, uh, we have to, re we have to retake the Holy Land. My daughter's been excommunicated. What for? Yeesh. Oh, she is an adulterer. That, uh, that, that makes sense. I, do I don't endorse that, by the way. <laughs> In case you had to ask. So if I'm just standing here, will I be getting more supply? Because I'm only at 35 supply. That's pretty bad. It does not look like I'm getting more supply if I stand here. Well, in that case... Yeah, let's go, let's go siege the Holy Land. Huzzah, men! Oh my gosh, there's 17,000 troops up there, just in a giant death stack. Oh, that looks terrifying. Just moving into this space alone will take two, I'll take 205 casualties. That's insane. Soldier of the Cross. Our armies stand poised to take part in the crusade for Jerusalem. St. George willing. He will soon rise victorious. The blood of the heathens painting the soil red. May St. George lead us to victory. I gained a trait. Crusader. Martial prowess. Oh, it's clergy opinion. Wow, that's, that's some good stuff. That is some good stuff indeed. Yeah, we will siege this. Our supply is dropping like mad, though. It's dropping like mad. Why are there so many people's death stacked here? We're gonna get kicked out, you numbskulls. What are you doing? Oh, she is no longer even a ruler. Well, good job. <laughs> My, I don't know what my daughter has done to earn the wrath of the world. Well, I know one of the things she's done to earn the wrath of the world, but my goodness. My troops are actually starving. Can you guys please leave? Thank you. Okay. My contribution is only 1%. I don't know what kind of malarkey that is. Oh, look at this. Bertle Bertelson. I remember that amazing name. Another cousin's been imprisoned. I have so many cousins. Gee willikers. I need to regain some level of supply. Who is actually involved in this war? If I set sail for Italy, my supply is going to be atrocious. Although I think my supply is slowly rising because it was 19 before. Let's see. Oh, someone can marry. My granddaughter. Okay. Let's go for matrilineal alliance power. This chap. Ab absolutely. I see no problem with this at all. <clears throat> is there anyone is there anyone better out of curiosity? This guy looks decent. Look at him. No alliances, admittedly, but that's that's not the worst thing in the world. We have a decent amount of alliances at the moment, from what I recall, anyway. 
22. Oh my gosh. How can I get this back? Look, everyone around here is starving. <laughs> the AI at work, ladies and gentlemen. Look at this giant dog pile of a mess. Are they coming for us? It's hard to tell. It kind of seems like they are. I think they're sieging out Byzantium or going for the Byzantines or something. I don't know. If I'm over in Italy, will I be able to regain supply? That's my question. We're going to try it. Because currently my supply is Jack. Hampshire spared. What happened here? I'm being raided. I'm being raided? Where? Oh, 400. I thought it was way worse than... Oh, never mind. 2300. I cursed the meddlesome savages. How dare they? Oh, yeah. They're going. There's going to be a big... There's going to be a big old fight. I need to try to get some more supply, though. Uh, it's a defender. Let's see. Yeah, I guess I'll join. What, 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 what details does this war entail? Denmark. Interesting. Interesting indeed. Well, the decline to starving. Ugh. My men need... My men need food. We need supplies. Where can we get these supplies? A court physician? Neither of you are even physicians. No, thank you. Yeah, they're starving now. Come on, you can make it. Oh, there we go, Draeger. Another son for you. Congrats. If I'm just sitting... Oh my gosh, are you kidding? My entire army died! What a bunch of baloney! What the heck, dude? My entire army died! I don't think there was... Well, if they were gonna run out of supplies and I couldn't resupply anywhere else and there was no way they were getting home. That is such malarkey. Who is this? Another granddaughter. Oh yeah, uh... I don't know. I, I don't know. Just find someone. How about that chap? Get you each some prestige. Well, that's stupid. My entire army just died out in the middle of the ocean. Well, that means we have to just let them regrow back here. That, yeah, that's my entire army dead. That is really annoying. I think we may actually win the crusade, but the problem is, yeah, my entire army is dead now. I, I, there's nothing left I can do. Still low control. I, I, I know, but I, I need to get my troops back, game. I need to get my troops back. They all died going across the, the ocean, apparently. And who is this? Oh, my daughter. Her, uh... Oh, her husband died, apparently. Bummer. Um... Uh, marry that chap, then. Now, we'll, we'll pick some... We'll pick a random guy. Just because. We'll pick this guy. There you go. Marry that dude. Whoa, what is this? Magan Zumana, a prominent figure amongst the deists, has gathered every Hogan, Hogan in the land together to discuss their beliefs and establish an official doctrine for the pagan faith. 
These Medeic Hogans are encouraging cooperation and tolerance, even towards non-believers, and claim that the only way to show proper devotion is by honoring Bidu with human sacrifices. Oh, I immediately don't like them as much as I thought I would. <laughs> Alright, a Crusader 2 will put these heathens in their place. Absolutely. How is my king still alive? He's 75! He's 75! Dude, what the heck? How are you still alive? I don't understand. All my children are just randomly getting extra buffs. Oh my gosh, there's so many. <laughs> so many notifications. I'm 75. I haven't even gotten the notification yet that I'll be dying in a year. I haven't even gotten that. This is insane. How goes the crusade, gentlemen? Yeah, I wasn't able to contribute much because all my men just died. What am I supposed to do about that? What am I supposed to do about that game? Huh? What am I supposed to do? I'm, I'm enjoying all these wars and I'm not helping in any of them. Because I'm just that nice of a person. Where is the enemy even? How are you losing this? How, how are you losing that? That's what I want to know. Oh my gosh, my wife died again! I've lost three wives! What the heck is this? I have lost three wives at this point. Who is this even? I don't know. I just select I just selected prestige gain and just started searching through people. I would prefer alliance power and preferably infertile. Duchy of Aquitaine, that's pretty nice. Yeah, we'll do that one. There we go. Who is this? Ethelbert Wolfmerson. These are some crazy names, my goodness. Hmm. Pretty. I feel like pretty is offset by the fact that she is a leper. <laughs> Just ever so slightly offset. Hmm. Well, bummer. It's not looking good for old uh, Ethelbert Wolfmerson. In terms of who he can marry. Hmm, we could pick her. I don't know. We just need to find someone. Uh, oh, I have an idea. Let's do inheritable traits. That'll help us find something. Bunch of 47-year-old women. No thank you. Never mind, that did not work at all. Oh, no wonder, I'm search- Oh, that- that makes more sense. I was wondering, why in the world can I not find anyone? That would explain why. Then a bunch of 60-year-olds again, 50-year-olds. If we just do relevance then, let's just- Actually, here, rank. Who's this? Yana, we'll just pick her or something. Bam. There we go. Sorted that out. That took way longer than it needed to. We are exalted among men again. This king has survived way longer than I thought he would. This is insane. Once we get back up to 2,000, perhaps we go try to help out in the crusade again. There we go. Speaking of which, we just hit 2,000. All right, let's continue to go help in this crusade. Search for a physician, why not? Bur oh my gosh, all of these grandsons getting married. This is crazy sauce. Th that would not work, no. Let's just do... What, do I I'm, what am I currently sort sorting by? Nothing. 
This has continued to yield nothing useful. But if I do by alliance power, if I do by rank, nothing, prestige gain. We could gain 700 prestige if we did that, but preferably not. She's scaly after all. No, that won't work. For goodness sakes. How about her? Fine, yeah, we'll pick her. G. Willikers, man. Okay. Oh, we have a lot of money at the very least. The Good Earl. Uh, court physician. He's a decent physician. Do we still have a physician? We do. And she's actually better. Uh, my army is not currently... I wanted to bring them over here, but they have not arrived yet. Come on over, boys. All these guys are doing are they're just, they're just draining their supply. This is ridiculous. Oh, this guy just gave me money. I will take money. I'll sp and I'll spend some of it to instantly start rebuilding. Because we're just that nice of a guy. Oh, I just I just noticed. Hang on. My my stats are apparently up. Why why is that? I just want the plus one to all stats. Actually, no, actually no. We'll go with plus three learning. I don't know. My grandson was slain. Elfgar Dragerson. Oh, sorry, Drager. <laughs> Your son died in the war, apparently. Alright, we'll go a little longer. I want, at the very least, I want my men to be able to get back here. The trip is not a safe one, I'll say that much. That war is over, that's fine. Look at all of these dudes down here, this is crazy. I think, we're I think we may genuinely lose this because everyone just starved and had to leave. I mean, look at this. Their supply is awful because they're just cycling back and forth like this. There we go. Oh my gosh, I didn't realize how good of stats she had. Gee, Willikers. Those are, those are really good, actually. I mean, we're still somehow killing people. I think we may actually be able to win this crusade. I want to see if we can do that. Now, granted, my contribution is pretty much nothing at this point. Because all my men died of supply issues. But I would at least like to try. We already have a better physician than both of them. I just keep searching just in case we find some miracle four-star physician or something. I don't even know if that exists. I've never seen it. Oh, my troops are here! And they're already down to 28 supply, just from getting over here. Gee willikers, that's ridiculous. Well, if we take a look at this war, we, we have a cap from winning battles, so we have to take land in this war. And what actually... I'm looking at the wrong one. What What is worth taking here? Let's find something for these guys to do. Because at the moment, this war is not going to be won by us. 2,700. The problem is the desert has such low supply. I don't know. I don't quite know what to do about it. Yeah, up there, my supply is, the supply is too low. If I just sit here... My supply isn't going to change, which is really stupid. There's no way of getting more supply. Oh. I'm being attacked, it looks like. Uh, try to run away. Uh, I don't know what's going to happen in that fight. We'll see what happens. We may lose all of our troops again. Another daughter, who's actually really talented with stats. Hmm. 
Mm. I mean, I guess we'll marry her, to, marry her to him. Why not? This doesn't look like this battle will be going in our favor, admittedly. Yeah, I don't think so. I'm just still impressed that a 77-year-old king is leading this fight. Yeah, that went pretty badly for us. We just have no way of getting supply, and now we're marching all the way up here for some reason. What's up here that we're going up there? Are we just retreat retreating to one specific spot? Oh, my grandson. Right, okay. There we go. I was wondering why I was getting that message. I thought, my courtier, why do I care? My cousin was taken prisoner. Oh, no. How awful. Uh, sure. I'll join the peasant uprising. I don't need to help, though. Peasant uprisings never really go anywhere. I can ask the head of faith for gold. 266 gold, please. Absolutely. Pe yeah, see, the peasant uprising is already over. I'm being raided by two different groups because my army just isn't home to fight them. I don't know why my guys marched up here. There's nothing up here for them to do. We can go over here. We'd lose 100 casualties from it, unfortunately. But we could we could try to contribute more to the war, try to end this thing. Because at the moment, everyone's just killing themselves from supply, walking in circles. We can't have that. Some war, that's fine. Being raided by tens of people, that's fine. I can declare wars, that's fine. There's nothing. Can I can I fire you now? No, I still cannot fire you. Oh my gosh. I'm stuck with this useless person. Unbelievable. How long am I going to be stuck with them for? Are they going to fight me with 58 men? Oh, I'm about to die. It's finally happening at 77. My guy is just old at this point. Yeah, sure enough, we're fighting 58 troops for some reason. Instant stack wipe. We'll see. Our supply probably is not going to last long enough. But we'll see if we can siege this out before he dies. At the very least... We are, there are so many, 88 living members in, in our, in our, uh, in our family. That's insane. 88. Yeah, I'll join all these. This is just a mess down here. Look at this. All of this stuff. Oh my goodness. Oh yeah, but we're going to be calling it soon. We're a little over. Obviously our king is going to die soon anyway. Good old Bertel Sigfridsson. He's done, he's done quite some work. My goodness. Enemies left the war. That's pretty cool. Uh. Alright. With, with my, with my, in my final year, I want to be closer to my family. We'll just go with that. Come on, come on. Let's siege this out. Let's end this war. We're so, we're so close. Let it end. Let it end! I want to say I ended the crusade with my amazing fighting skills. Yeah, I'm at death's doorstep now. To be, to, to be fair, I'm over in the Holy Land fighting, so at the very least, I'm doing a noble thing. We were defeated in some war that I wasn't paying attention to. That's fine. Granted, I should probably, should probably be helping my allies, but I'm not. I can't be bothered. I am doing other things at the moment. I think we may actually get it. Please let Bertle live long enough to see this glorious moment. We did get it, but it didn't seem to do anything. What? 
We captured a city. It did nothing? You're telling me that did nothing. Okay, go siege this then, I guess. That looks, that actually does look important. Why have we not sieged this, guys? We've swayed him as much as we can. We're, we're about to die. Uh, that's not worth swaying anyone. Good old Bertle. He's done quite, he's, he's done some work for us. Oh, they're just all death stacking down there. Why are you guys doing this? They're all fight. They're fighting amongst each other, which is nice. Let's keep it that way. And they're gonna go whoop their butts. It looks like, which means I am just gonna be sieging this. And that that may end the crusade. I thought the last one would, but uh, that could be bad. There we go. Bertle has died. King in. All hail the king, King Ain Bert Bertelson of England. Well, there we go. And now we don't have an army commander. Oh my gosh, this guy's amazing. He's insane. Yeah, yeah, get him in here. Why why are we not sieging this? Do we already have it? Well then what what is it what is there left to siege to end this crusade? There's immediately a liberty faction against us. And it's a 1,000% faction military power. Immediately. Oh my goodness. Although at the very least we have a butt ton of gold. So that's nice. Empty. Oh my gosh. We just lost so many council positions here. Absolutely get a guy with 25 diplomacy on that roll. Oh my gosh. Absol absolutely get a guy with 22 diplomacy on that roll. I'm just gonna fill the spot. I'm just gonna fill all this with my brothers, I guess. Yeah, oh my gosh, we have some really talented people. Look at that. Please convert to Catholicism. That'd be very nice. And immediately start swaying. We want our direct vassal opinion up. And start swaying him. We need people to like us more. No beneficiary. Oh, yeah, the beneficiary changed. Um, We'll pick our half-sister and best friend. She will be our... I think she's, I think she's probably the same one. But that's okay. Uh, we're going to be doing a stewardship lifestyle, which is very nice. Oh, wow! Look at all this stuff. He has golden obligations. That's an amazing trait. Absolutely an amazing trait. What what are his stats at the moment? 17 stewardship. That's pretty decent. Hmm. Let's go. Yeah, sorry. I know I'm running over at this point. I want, I want to try to get this crusade over with. Good grief. We could get three more stewardship, or we could go monthly income. Let's go monthly income. I'm not sure how much that'll actually change. That did help. Gee willikers, that really helped. A betrothed can marry. My son and player heir. Uh, yes. Sure, do that. We have a lot. I can lawfully imprison Draeger. I could do it, but then he runs away. So we're gonna, we're gonna hold off on that. We will consider it, but we're gonna hold off for now. Uh, powerful vassals expect positions. How, how about you guys actually be good at your jobs? Oh my gosh, I just noticed our archbishop is awful. We're, we're actually losing p piety. Oh my gosh. <laughs> we're actually losing piety. That's insane, dude. Search for a physician. And lose weight. Because apparently we're fat. We are obese. Which is a bit of a shame. Gee willikers, man. Well, gosh darn it, we're sinful to Catholics. That's really annoying. Come on, we have to end this crusade, please. What is there to siege? Do we siege this? What 
is there to actually siege here? I don't know, let's just pick this. Let's pick this of all things. Oh my! There's 6,000 troops there. Senwolf is actually a physician. We'll do that. I do not like being so close to these guys. We could very possibly get a stack wiped if we just sit here. Hmm. I, I really want to end this crusade. This thing is going on for so long. The problem is, yeah, they're all instantly going to go fight me. What did you call me, waifu killer? <laughs> what did you call me? Uh... Unbelievable. Yeah, my guys are about to get stack wiped. That's fine. There we go. My army died again. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, that was way worse than I thought it would be. Oh my gosh. Um. Okay, so. Our amazing steward died. My brother. Drager actually died in that. Uh-oh. <laughs> oh, Drager died. Uh, hopefully he's not still here to see that. <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, okay. We can't actually even get this guy out. So we're... Oh, wow. Okay. Um, yeah, that ends our involvement in the Crusades. Our, we've been stack wiped twice. Uh, we need to... Oh, goodness. Drager dying is a bit unfortunate. I will say that much. Oh my gosh. Um. We'll pick her. And we. Oh my gosh. Yeah, absolutely him. Okay, and we'll go with this. Although she would be a decent marshal, then she would like us. But this guy is incredible. How can I not go with a 26 Marshall dude? Alright, yeah, we need to regain our strength here. We need to we need to get back control in all of these places. Yes, waifu killer, rip indeed. We just, we just lost a lot of people. Oh my gosh. What is that thing? Is that a snake head? That's oh, it looks like a looks like a Gila monster head or something. I've actually never seen that one before. As, as much as we need the control, we actually need to organize levies, because we need to make it so that this powerful faction is not as strong as they currently are. That's that's bad news, bears. Yeah, we lost everyone. Oh, that was really bad. A new PogChamp emote. Oh, I see. Okay. Well, good to know. I, 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 never, I don't think I ever really used it that much anyway, admittedly, but it's good, it's, it is good to know. Oh, we actually need to... We need to relieve some stress. Our... our our king is very... Why is it so expensive? 133 gold for a hunt? Is it just Is it just because I have so much gold already? Maybe that is it. So yeah, we're going we're gonna to host a hunt as this big gluttonous king. And we'll see what happens. Let's see. You would think it a creature from myth, perhaps a god disguised in an animal form. It was the largest stag I've ever seen. Even after, even after the beast was wounded, the chase lasted half a day. It's still an imposing sight, lying dead before me. So I could get an extra... What would that be? That would be an extra 60 prestige over time. Well, we've already killed it. Yeah, yeah, we've already killed it. But because I'm, gl but because I'm gluttonous, we, I can lose stress from this, and pe people will gain opinion of me, actually. My brother created a cadet branch. That's fine. Okay. So, once the hunt is officially over, we are definitely going to have to be calling it, because... Yeah, we are- we have gone over significantly. Uh... We'll just have our niece tutor her, I guess. And there's titles to create, I'm not doing it, because- are you kidding me? I mean, actually, I may as well. It gives me prestige. And I have the gold. There we go. We've created stuff. Although we do now have too many held duchies. So that has created a problem for us. 
All right, hang on a second. We're gonna sort. We're, we're gonna sort this out, and then we are going to hang on a second. Let's grant him. Oh, okay. We need to find who actually owns this land. Where is she? You! Hi, you don't like me. How would you like the Petty Kingdom of Mercia? Considering you do own a chunk of it. There we go. Congratulations! A scheme at court? Someone's plotting to kill my courtier. I... I'm gonna be honest, I don't really care. I... I really don't care. Who are these people, even? No, you, you can rot in my dungeon. Uh, yeah, the hunt is over. Alright, we need to be calling it there. Kill them. I, I could potentially kill them, yes. The problem is, I spend piety to do that. And I think that would actually put me into the negatives, which we don't want. So, otherwise, I would consider it. Just leaving them in the dungeon is a death sentence, because they will eventually just die from poor health conditions. But we're... Uh, yeah, she wants a position now. I mean, as this guy's really good, but I feel like we need to give her a position. Okay, here, we'll give her that. She's not the best at it, but at the very least, it makes her happy. And, my, and it's my player era's wife, so we do want her to be happy. Alright. And next time, once we actually get some soldiers back, hopefully we won't hopefully we won't break into civil war, but then we, we, may, we may try sieging some stuff around here, because Essex is actually independent, apparently. West Francia apparently has land in England, which we can which we cannot abide by that. Kent is independent. There's a, there's a lot of stuff we could go after here, so that's what I'm gonna be trying to do next time. Racism has nothing to do with this waifu killer. Racism has nothing to do with this. If you- this is- I can prove this scientifically, look. You see if I go to this Dejour Kingdom map, and it shows this is belonging to England? That is my excuse. I can say, divine right, this is my land, go away. You get to have all of this, I get to have this, stay- stay off my stuff. That- that is my reasoning. Alright. I do have some homework I have to do today that, that tends to be the, the usual for Tuesdays, as you guys are aware at this point. So I have to go. Uh, I'm trying to think what else I have to do. I do have some homework to do. That's the main thing, but there's actually just quite a bit of it. I have an exam tomorrow that I have to study for. Waifu killer, I have an exam tomorrow. I need to take it. <laughs> I'm not doing very well in my classes this semester as well as I want to be. So I need, I need to put in the effort to do some studying here. Thanks, man. I appreciate it. Thanks for tuning in. It was good seeing you. Uh, until next time, guys, this is Bluebird Gamer signing off. God bless America.